I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on parametric equations. In this video, we will learn how to find equation of tangents and normals. The equation is, find the equation of the tangent and normal to the curve x equals to t square minus 2t minus 1, y equals to t cube plus t at x equals to minus 1. So this question is relatively complicated since we are not really giving you a point. You are giving you the value of x. So in first step, you need to find the value of y. So let's try to figure out the point. So we are given x equals to minus 1. We have this equation for x which is t square minus 2t minus 1. So if I substitute minus 1 for x, I get minus 1 equals 2 t square minus 2t minus 1 or this minus 1 minus 1 cancel. We have got 0 equals to t square minus 2t. Now we can take t common. So we get uh, t minus 2. So we find that x is minus 1 for the parameter t equals to 0 or for t equals to 2. Now these two values of t will actually give us two different values for y, right? So if I substitute 0 here, I get y equals to 0 cubed plus 0, which gives us y equals to 0. And if I substitute 2 there, I get y equals to 2 cubed plus 2, which is 8 plus 2 as 10. So basically, we get two points. Uh, so the points for us are x value being minus 1, y being 0, and x value being minus 1, y being 10, right? And these two points are when t is equal to 0 or when t equals to 2. Now, this is kind of very important to understand before we even get into finding derivatives of our equations, correct? So, that is going to be our first step. If you are given a point, all this is not required. Okay. Now let's find the derivative. So, so the idea here is to find dx dt. We have x equals to t square minus 2t minus 1. dx dt is 2t minus 2. Let's also find dy dt. So y is equal to t cube plus t dy dt is equal to 3t squared plus 1. Now, dy dx is what? dy dx will be dy dt over dx dt. Correct? So, from the given expression, we get another expression for dy dx, which will be 3t squared plus 1 over dx dt is 2t minus 2. So that is the expression for dy dx, the derivative. Is that clear? Now we need to find equation of tangent and normal at two different points for the given relation, right? So here we have one condition which says t equals to 0. The point is minus 1, 0. Correct? So at this point, let's find the equation first derivative and then we'll find tangent and normal, right? So at t equals to 0, the point is minus 1, 0. What is the value of dy dx? Let's find dy dx. So dy dx will be, I'll just substitute 0 here, so it will be 1 over 2 with a negative sign. Correct? So, substituting in this particular equation, we get that dy dx should be minus half. Right. So, at this point, first, let's find the tangent. So, equation of the tangent will be y minus y1. So, we are going to use this equation. y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1. Correct. So we have the slope. We have the point. Perfect. Okay. So y minus the y value is 0 
equals to the slope of minus half times x minus the x value of minus 1, which makes it plus 1. Good. So we can just cross multiply. So we get 2y equals to minus x, right? And then minus 1. Or what we get here is x plus 2y plus 1 equals to 0. So that becomes the equation of the tangent. Is that clear to you, right? Now, what we can do here is also find equation of the normal. So let me just squeeze it in here. Now, we got the tangent. Now, we'll also find normal. So I'm writing normal here now. So when I say normal, in that case, slope will be what? Well, in that case, slope m is going to be 2, right? Negative reciprocal. And we still know that the point for us is the same point, minus 1, 0. Now, with that slope, equation of the normal will be uh, y minus 0 equals 2. Uh, 2 times x plus 1, correct? Same point, right? So, this time, the equation is, uh, we can take y to this side, right? And we can write this as 2x plus 2, right? And taking y to this side gives us, uh, let me write, 2x plus, uh, okay, let me rewrite. So, so we're taking y to this side. So we get 2x minus y plus 2 equals to 0. Is that clear to you? So that becomes the equation of the normal. Okay. We're just trying to save some space here. I want to complete it right there. So you, I hope you understood the whole process. Now, I would like you to pause the video and find the equation of tangent and normal for the second point, right? So let's do for the second point where we know t is equal to 2. And let's call this point as q now. Let's say this was p. So, and the point q for us is minus 110. So first step here is uh, to find the slope, right? So, so we get dy dx as equal to, when you plug in t equals to 2 here, we get 3 times 2 squared plus 1 over, we're substituting in this equation, right? 2 times 2 minus 2. Now, 4 times 3, 12 plus 1 is 13. And here, 4 minus 2 is 2. So we get slope of 13 over 2. So first step, let's find the equation of tangent, right? So let's find the equation of tangent. So to find the equation of tangent, we are going to use the same slope. Then equation will be y minus the y value of 10 equals to the slope 13 over 2 times x minus x value of minus 1. Okay, so cross multiply. So we get 2y minus 20 equals to 13x plus 13. Or we get 13x minus 2y and we can bring this to the right side so we get uh, plus 13 plus 20 equals to 0 or the equation becomes 13x minus 2y uh, plus 23 33 sorry 33 equals to 0 clear so that becomes the equation of the tangent now let's find equation of normal okay so for normal again uh, the slope m is going to be negative reciprocal, right? So negative 2 over 13. And then the equation which you are going to get is y minus the y value, which is 10, equals to the slope, which is minus 2 over 13, x minus 1, which is x plus 1. Good. So now again, cross multiply. So we get 13y minus 130. Okay and uh, equals to minus 2x minus 2. Now we can bring these terms to the right side. So we get uh, 2x plus uh, 13y and adding these terms minus 130 plus 2 equals to 0 or the answer will be 2x plus 13y and that is minus 128 equals to 0, right? So check for the calculation, but I hope you understand the method, right? So, so these are the other two equations. So let me highlight them. So we get equations of the tangents and the normals at x equals to minus 1. 
The critical thing which you learned here is that there could be more than one point at a given value of x. So this definitely is not a function. It represents a relation. So the steps, I hope, are absolutely clear. So first is find the points of interest. Once you have the points of interest, then find the derivative as the ratio of dx dt, dy dt, and dx dt. Once you have the derivative, use standard ways of finding the equation from slope and the point. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.